Good morning. It's Monday, May 24th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Thankful for Stress and Its Ministry in My Life. And our scripture is Psalm 73, verse 26. God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. In 1998, Our Daily Bread published the following article. In 1812, the genteel New Englander Anne Judson embarked with her husband at an Iram on a long ministry of danger and hardship. The Judsons were sailing to far-off Burma as pioneer missionaries. Anne recorded in her diary how they survived in next to intolerable conditions. Quote, have been distressed for some days on account of the gloomy prospect before us, she wrote. Everything respecting our little mission is involved in uncertainty. I find it hard to live by faith and confide entirely in God when the way is dark before me. Yet, Anne added, if the way were plain and easy, where would be the room for confidence in God? Instead, then, of murmuring and complaining, let me rejoice and be thankful that my Heavenly Father compels me to trust in Him by removing those things on which we are naturally inclined to lean. What is our attitude when the props we have depended on are suddenly gone? Are we grateful for the trials that can strengthen our faith? For the child of God, great stress can develop great faith and reveal God's great grace. And from one of the great hymns of the church, When darkness veils his lovely face, I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. Adoniram and Ann Judson were missionaries in a difficult spot. I've ministered for about as long as they, but I was not challenged by nearly the severity they experienced. In 40 years in the ministry, I've not missed meals or been forced to claim bankruptcy. The houses I've lived in, both parsonages and my own homes, have been heated and air-conditioned. We've been cared for by God's grace in so many ways. All that said, I can look back on some times, like Anne recorded in her diary, where I wondered if I'd missed God's will, or if someone causing some problems had missed God's voice. In all the times of doubt, trouble, and despair, I've been driven to prayer and depending on God's promises. In all the times of plenty, joy, and blessing, which account for much more than the difficult times, I've learned, sometimes the hard way, not to get too full of myself, because the blessings were always at God's hand, not because I deserved them. And in both the difficult and delightful times, there has been stress. Bad stress is like a violin string pulled too tight or sagging too loose. The notes are like molasses pits or screeching like you've dragged your fingernails across the chalkboard. Good stress is when the string is tuned just right, cooperating with the other instruments and producing sounds that lift one to planes of light. I'm thankful for the bad stress and the good. One teaches me what joy and divine connection is like. The other teaches me that I'm off course and I need to pay more attention to my relationship with God. For you today... Are you thankful for the ministry of stress? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.